What is the injury latest? I think we need to assess now because we finished the training session late. We need to assess Axel DeSaisai, assess Nico Jackson, we need to assess also Reese. Broja is out because rotation problem in his knee, but it is another knee, not the one that was the problem from the past. We have a few players that we need to assess to see if they're available, if they can play, if they're on the bench, or if they're off the list completely. Benoit can maybe be available also. He was training well the last few days. I think it's now to talk with the medical staff and to decide if he can be part of the squad tomorrow. Enzo Fernandez and Moises Caicedo back late? Enzo trained yesterday. Caicedo arrived yesterday in the afternoon and was checking with the doctor and was in a very good state and today trained with us in the group. How much better was this international break than the last one? I think it was worse. Only a few players training. I think we enjoyed a lot because we discovered many young talent from the academy. We trained with 10, 11, 12, 14 sometimes, some days, the young kids. That was very good. Then only Tiago, Raheem, and Mark Cucurella. Of course, Robert Sanchez. 80% of the squad was out and some injured players. Today was the first day. That is why I am late always after the international break because more than half an hour of meetings and then training to try to prepare the game for tomorrow because only today we have all of the players to prepare the game. Went into the international break with momentum. Feel better. Yes, it was a shame to keep the momentum. Now is to build another momentum. I think we are confident. The team is confident. The players have different mood than one month ago and I think too many positives. Still fighting, still struggling with some injuries of players we cannot recover 100% but working really hard to find solutions and of course, very positive. A tough fixture against Arsenal, I prefer tough. If you were to get a good result? I think we are thinking we need to win tomorrow, with respect to Arsenal, they are a great team. You know very well, that Mikel is part of my family, we are going to meet him tomorrow. It is going to be tough because they are doing a great job. Very good squad, very good team. They are playing so well they are competing for everything to win, not only the Premier League, the Champions League. They are doing fantastic, it's going to be tough, but also we are confident we can give our best and give a very good game. Sent some messages about the game? Of course, we are not sending messages now. Before the season start, yes of course, now, no. I think we don't time because it is really tough to be coach and we are thinking and trying to prepare the game and team not only tomorrow and we are focused on that. Injuries, bad luck or something you are looking into? I think I told you, it's not only bad luck. It's the profile of players sometimes and the history and we can assess and see when we arrive here, see every single situation. It's not only bad luck. Sometimes there are too many factors that can influence. Of course, we are professional. We try to find the best method and bring the best platform to the player to be strong and feel good. It's only a matter of time. This organization is new. The team is new. Everything is new in this club. It is to assess the player in the right way and to help them to feel strong. First time you have faced Mikel as a manager? The first time? I think he was at Manchester City when we played with Tottenham. I consider him like a coach with Pep. It's like my coaching staff. It's going to be really nice because my love for him is there and it's a family. It's more than friends. It's good. It's going to be strange, but we are competitive, all of the coaches. We are very competitive when we play. If he is part of my family, we want to win and to destroy the opponent. It will be strange, but I will feel proud to see him. Still meet up? The last time? Not really when I was in Tottenham and he was in Arsenal and Manchester City, yes, but after I went to Paris, we didn't have the time to see each other. Of course, why not? In the future we can share. The game give you an idea of your progress? The progress of them, if you ask me, I think it is amazing because it was the same time I was leaving Tottenham and he took charge. At the beginning it was really tough, one year. One year and a half it was really tough, but I think the good thing is the club trusted in him and give all of the tools and believe in the way to rebuild. Similar ties to here? No, I think it's completely because we arrived to a different project. The most important is the capacity of him with the club. 
Credit to the club also Mikel and the club to create this bond between both. Now, the results after three or four years we're talking about Arsenal that is fighting for big things. What do you think about the progress of Malo Gusto? You asked me about a player that in the last month didn't play because he was sent off and played with the national team in France. He's really young but a great talent, maybe tomorrow has the possibility to play. I think it's difficult to judge because 19 years old, came from a different league in France and he needs to adapt to a new club like Chelsea whose history is about winning. A project with very young players, with these circumstances, always is tough. I am so happy because we really believe in him, for sure he needs time, but I think he is going to perform in a way we really believe. He is only 19 years old, but I am so happy I was not happy when he got sent off, I think wasn't red card, when after you see the decision of VAR, I think it's crazy. He is going to be good for the club for sure. How highly do you rate Mikel from a tactical standpoint? I think when you are coaching in Arsenal and what the team is showing is because he is one of the best. Okay, he is 30 years old, 40 years old, I don't know, he is young, but he has shown me he is one of the best coaches in the world today. It's not only to be good tactically, football knowledge, it's about how you manage. How you manage people, how you manage, how you deal with the media, the owners, how you deal with sporting directors. It's not only about the capacity to be clever and smart in the way you prepare the games. In the end, it is not the most important thing. It's easy to prepare for this type of game because players are motivated, we are motivated, the fans are going to help us, nobody assumes Chelsea are going to win 3-0 tomorrow. It's going to be tough and I enjoy when I compete in this type of game. When you compete with a team like Arsenal, it is fantastic. I enjoy for sure. You have not lost a home league game against Arsenal? Big pressure. I hope that continues.